Welcome to the second part of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Budapest has one of the most spectacular sights in the world, thanks to some of Europe's best Art Nouveau architecture. Budapest has been invaded by Celts, Romans, Turks, Hasburgs and German Nazis over its lengthy history. Following World War II, it was annexed by the Soviet Union, which ruled it as a communist state. In 1956, an uprising was quickly put down. With the fall of the Iron Curtain in 1989, Budapest was finally set free. However, now it's currently a member of the European Union, but sections of the city still remain locked in time. All of this back and forth contributes to the architectural style of Budapest, clearly demonstrate that it is a crossroads of Eastern and Western Europe. The Houses of Parliament, which were constructed between 1885 and 1904, are the most prominent example. A towering crimson dome crowns this neo-Gothic and Baroque structure. There are 233 statues, 27 gates, 10 courtyards and about 700 apartments in this palace. The parliament is located on the past side of the Danube river, while across the river on the Buda side sits Buda castle. Since 1265 Hungarian kings have reigned from this location. The Baroque Royal Palace, completed in 1769, now occupies a large portion of the castle grounds. There are also winding ancient lanes, small shops and cafes to be found. The famed Matthias Church, with its spectacular mosaic tiled roof and the fisherman's bastion, a section of the medieval wall, that was maintained by the Fishermen's Guild are all of the prominent sites in the neighborhood. You will think you've been transported into a fairy tale if you wander around here. Edinburgh is beautiful in all seasons thanks to its unending green hills and intriguing history. It has an extinct volcano inside its boundaries, in addition to its spectacular Gothic structures, cobblestone Royal Mile, and a 12th century castle guarding a hilltop. Edinburgh has been voted the world's fourth most beautiful city, beating out a slew of well-known beautiful cities around the world. Take a short stroll east of the city to Arthur's Seat, 250 meter high inactive volcano for views over Scotland's capital, and you will understand why it's been voted the world's fourth most beautiful city. The capital's allure is part of what makes it one of the best destinations in the world to visit, work, live and study. Edinburgh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the world's most stunning cities. From the striking architecture of the old and new towns to the city's Ave-inspiring castle. Innsbruck is the place to be for adventurous travelers, with ski slopes in the winter and steep hiking paths in the summer. But Tyrol's capital city is more than simply a rest stop on the way to the mountains. The museums, the medieval old town and the Alpen Zoo, which is the Europe's highest altitude zoo, are all worth a visit. At one of Innsbruck's Christmas markets, you can bask in the warming spicy scents, wrap your hands around a steaming mug of Gluhuein and allow yourself to dissolve into the festive spirit. Austria is known for being a master of all things seasonal, and the markets in the city never fail to bring out the holiday spirit. One of the best and most traditional takes place in the front of the famed Golden Roof, a building donated by the Emperor to his wife during Austria's imperial days, which features a clusters of wooden kiosks selling a variety of handcrafted delicacies and trinkets as well as homemade cuisine. It's difficult to choose between city vacations and country escapes, and Innsbruck has both. The city boasts a small but attractive cultural scene with many museums and galleries, meadows and woodlands that are only a short distance away from one another.
There are several lovely tiny villages in the area surrounding the city that are accessible for a day visit. Slovenia's capital city is as beautiful and charming as they come and clean. Thanks to the European Commission's designation of it as the Green Capital of Europe 2016. Take a stroll around the pedestrian-only old town, sip coffee along the Ljubljanica river slash banks, or admire the Baroque architecture and hilltop 16th century Ljubljana castle. The mark left on Ljubljana by the renowned architect Jože Plečnik is comparable to Antoni Gaudi's mark on Barcelona. His major works include the national and university libraries, the Ljubljanica river embankments and bridges, the central market complex, the Križanke summer theater, and various elements of the city center's urban design. Ljubljana is a city rich in imagination and always bustling with activity. Throughout the year, a diverse range of festivals, cultural events and open-air events take place. Here you will be able to discover the architectural history of the city that is home to one of the world's oldest philharmonic societies. Visit the cultural Tsankarev Dome and Congress Center, which accommodates over 1000 events every year. The Ljubljana Opera House or the Ljubljana Festival, which brings world-class music and shows to the city every summer. Paris is a city where passion and history coexist. Attractive people wander along the city at all hours of the day and night, and each district appears to have its own unique landmark. Whether it's Notre Dame, Sacre Coeur or the Eiffel Tower, take a stroll amid the sculptures at the exquisite Luxembourg Gardens for a moment or a relative tranquility among your fellow tourists. And imagine how great life would be if you lived here. Paris is colossal both in terms of size and in terms of architectural legacy. The Iron Lady, aka the Eiffel Tower, is the capital city's symbol and, without a doubt, its most well-known monument, providing visitors with an unrevealed vista. The equally famed Arc de Triomphe is close by too. On hot summer days, when the sun sets through the massive arc, this historical relic dazzles observers. Another stunning and unmissable sight is the Notre Dame Cathedral a gothic masterpiece, the nave, towers and even the crypt. The Sacre Coeur Basilica, which is equally captivating, has served as a source of inspiration for writers and filmmakers. From the summit of the Montmartre area, it offers a spectacular panoramic view of the city and holds France's largest mosaic. The Place de la Concorde, including its beautiful fountains, rostral pillars and the amazing Luxor obelisk, and also the Place de la Bastille, including its famed Julie Column, honoring the revolution and its very modern Paris National Opera. And the Place de la Opera, with the magnificent Opera Garnier, are just a few of the city's iconic sites. Thanks for sticking around till the end of this video. If you are enjoying our content, please smash the like button, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.